Hey guys, as as requested, here's a much um, more revised tutorial on getting these games run at 60 frames a second. This is a brand new method and it's courtesy of this guy. And this video, Little Big Planet Karting Uncapped Frame Rate by a guy called Eminem. Alright, so I'm showing you there in case you think, think it's the rap star I'm talking about, but it's not. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see there, I, Where's the V-blank rate? Where is this, this located? And he was kind enough to let me know. So I said, I have, it works, man. Thank you, and I'll give you credit. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Oh, and another thing. You can notice my UI, everything's big, so you can see it this time, right? So I've learnt my lesson from last time. I can see it. You know, I was thinking to myself, well, I'm all right, Jack, you know what I mean, in the last tutorial. But this new tutorial is even better than... Um, even better than the first one and this is means you can play your games at normal speed if you've got a computer and you're lucky enough to have one that's faster than mine say if you've got a top of the range 2080 ti you know something like that rtx 2080 ti with an i9 9900k processor you know you you know you, you you're gonna be buzzing um now this is this folder is the rp sys throw folder itself but what we're going to do is like, see this one, Aliens. Let's highlight it. It should say NPUB31071. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the config folder. Custom configs. And we're going to find that. What was it again? Come on. So let's just remember NPUB and 1071. So NPUB. Or in pube, if you want to put well, <laughs> there it is. There, so let's double click it. So I've set it to be opened with Notepad because they're not big files, it's only 3.83 kilobytes. So Notepad can handle that. Where's it? Why is it down there? It's because I've changed my UI to a bigger size so you can all see it. What you have to do is scroll down and see that. Now, if you press enter there and then Put that this text this text here I mean, I'll, I'll link that in the description I'll just type it in and then just just copy and paste it and then you can use just copy and paste it into your version but so, some games will have V blank rate one um, V blank rate 60 you just change it to 120 oh, but it hasn't got it at all just add that text okay make sure when you add it it's all you know it's exactly as you see um observing the capital letters and it's all in line with the other text right once you've got it like that i don't need to save it because i already have um let's go back to our pcs3 and let's boot up aliens as you will see we're getting it we'll get the native 60 frames a second let's hope my joypad stays connected you know, I'm going to buy a Bluetooth adapter today, sod this. It's showing low frame rates there. So basically all you're doing is changing a line of text if it's got it from 60 to 120. Or just adding the complete line of text in, you know. But as we've with before, it only works on certain games. Aliens, it works on. Batman, it works on. Borderlands 2, only I can't get high frame rates for that unless I look up into the sky. Dead Space you get 60 FPS out of that one. Um, new and Tasty you come with that. That's 60 frames a second anyway so it's that. You can increase the frame rate on that but you won't necessarily get 60 frames a second. It's all depending on your computer. And same with that one. Alright. That one's 60 FPS anyway. Resident Evil it doesn't seem to work part of it is uh, it's pretty tantalizing that one because part of it is at 60 but the game plays at 30 locked and I don't see and um, maybe the old method is uh, would happen there but with these see this is a very latest version 8366 and um, th things work differently anyway put it that way so my old method did I don't think it works with these later versions it works up to 8361 Alright, so let's find that game. 
as you can see it sits uh, 60 frames a second so let's go into the campaign and resume it and I'll show you see it's showing there and you're thinking oh it's not worked watch and it's jumped up to 60 there's uh, winter and that what's he called nugget as they call him as you can see it's a nice clean 60 frames a second it's so much better and the controllers did exactly what I thought it would resume your bust as <clears throat> your bugger it's been a swine there we go anyway this is another way to do it I hope you've understood that and I hope you can see this time <laughs> what I'm doing um, any more you want to know just um, you know because I mean I've not even gone to the game configuration because that can make a difference but if if you've got a green little green dot by the game it says it runs anyway you know so you shouldn't have much in the way of problems in setting it up you know anyway thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video and I'll, if you want to see any walkthroughs of any classic PlayStation 3 games you know at, at 60 FPS you know something you've probably never seen before and if I can do it my computer can handle it I'll bring it to you all right I'm Pemby and I'll catch you later